Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use Screencastify. Screencastify allows you to cast your, um, your browser tabs or your entire screen. It is a, a Chrome extension, so I've gone to the Chrome Web Store and I have searched for Screencastify and it looks just like this. Um, normally it would say add to Chrome, but since I already have it, it's just asking me to rate it. So if you would click add to Chrome and then you will see it um, come on your toolbar here. When I'm ready to record and actually use it, it's going to ask me a lot of questions. It's going to give, ask for microphone permissions and camera permissions and Google permissions because it works really, really well with Google and Google Classroom. And that's why we're demonstrating this today. When I'm ready to start, I have decided to not just use one tab because I have multiple tabs open and I want to use um, several. So I'm going to use my whole de desktop. I know my microphone's working, so I'm going to click record in Screencastify. I'm going to share my entire screen. And it's giving me a countdown. And now I can tell that it's recording. So I'm going to use this presentation to share with students, starting with slide one. And down here is my toolbar for, um, I can highlight my clicks or I can highlight um, you, with my cursor. Oops, now I'm editing the slide. Um, but I wanna show students um, and talk through my slides. I can use uh, my cursor the whole time. I can use a pen. So if I want students to see where I am talking or I wanna do some editing, this could also be a Google Doc. If I wanted, I could use my pen. So I could use an, and do possible math problems. Oh, that's supposed to be a two. 72 squared. And I could talk with students through, um, actually, I would probably need to practice a little bit on my tools, but again, I can show students different things um, using the tools here on the toolbar, or if it's pretty bad, I could erase it and try again. But again, uh, I, I have these tools to help with my students and help um, point through the different pieces of the screen. Um, so I'm, when I'm done, I'm gonna click pause and it brings up more tools, um, especially the end recording button. So I'm gonna go ahead and push that because I think I'm done with my video. Screencastify opens automatically in a new tab and it has now opened a dashboard for editing and it automatically starts playing. And I do have some clipping tools. They're not super sophisticated because I am in the free version. But I'm gonna go ahead and title this my screen castify demo. And I'm gonna give it some processing time, but um, after I give it um, probably a good five minutes of processing time, um, I can easily share it to Google Classroom. So when I go to Google Classroom. I'm gonna pick the classroom that I want to share it with. I'm gonna create it as an assignment because I did a lot of teaching and I wanna add a worksheet for students to demonstrate their understanding of what I just taught. So I'm gonna give them instructions to um, watch the video on how to multiply you know, multiply fractions or whatever my instructions were, and then complete the attached worksheet. Make sure that your um, worksheets are in Google Docs because PDFs and Word Docs are not edible for students in Google Classroom. So I can um, give it points, or if it's an ungraded topic, I can do that. And then I wanna make sure I give it a good due date. I can edit this later in Google Classroom if I want to. But I'm gonna go ahead and assign it to students. 
and it will give you a chance to view this in Google Classroom. So it's in my feed, but it's also right here. And once I know what day it's going to connect to, because I've made topics so that students um, know what to do each day, I'm going to add this to day two. And again, I said I'm going to add a worksheet. So I'm going to go to the editing tools. And I have a worksheet in my Google Drive. So I'm going to pull that math worksheet, whatever that might be so that students can um, edit this document. So instead of making copies, let's see. Ooh, I don't own this one, so I'm not gonna post this one. But I can add my worksheet here very quickly, and then I can save it. And students will now have a video and an assignment to go with it. So that's how you use Screencastify. Um, I can go back into Screencastify anytime. So I'm gonna click again on the extension and all my recordings are hiding up here in my three bars in my recordings. One of the drawbacks for um, using this tool is I only have five minutes per video which is about our student's attention span anyway, to some degree. Um, but you can see that this was a minute and a half, but I've done plenty of Screencastifies over um, the last year and they just save here. So now I have a nice little resource library that I can add for students later at different times, but I can always access them and um, add more recordings, but the free version is really nice. Um, and it doesn't require anything for students to log into because it's just um, populate. I could just populate it right into Google Classroom. So that is how we use Greencastify. If you have any questions, please uh, make sure that you ask those questions in your appropriate Schoology grade level group or content level group or contact your EdTech specialist. Specialists, we will be glad to help you because we want you to be successful in this. Um, times of remote learning. Thank you.